Welcome to Raven Roundup. Today we have recaps on boys and girls sub-state basketball games. This week the girls basketball team faced off against Shawnee Mission Northwest facing a defeat. But before that, a drive to the basket and Sarah Beth Gellner falls to the ground hard and gets knocked out for the rest of the games with a sideline concussion. Curry drives to the basket and gets a little floater to go. Another drive and a save by Jordan Nackbar and a fed to Kaylee Kappelman. She puts it in for two. Kappelman gets a dish from her point guard and nails a three. Another three attempt by Liz Thomas did not go, but a rebound by Curry underneath gets it to go. <clears throat> a good play by them did not go with time expiring. Another play as Curry drives to the basket, and she gets it to go to pull them within two points. <clears throat> Cat Curry goes to tie it up. She's going to drive to the basket, and it does not fall, and that's a miss, and the game is over. This Saturday night, the boys basketball team faced off against Crosstown Rival. Late the East, the boys ended up facing a rough defeat, 42-60. After winning the tip, Luke Waters goes to the free throw line. He was pretty solid the whole night, pretty much being the only scorer for Northwest. The ball was fed inside the Waters, and he drives and spins and gets it to go for two. A drive to the basketball number four for Late the East. He knocks it down for three. A three by Kyle Sheever gets it to go. He had a few on the night. Number four brings it down. They inbound it here and they give it to number four and he takes up a three and makes it, tied it up. Kyle Sheever to Midiette. Midiette has been struggling so far this year on a few games, but he gets that one to go. In the fourth quarter, the game expires and the Ravens seniors finish up their career not getting back to the state tournament. That's all for today, Ravens. I'm Nick Lopez. Have a great week.